Did you know that After Effects was made in 1993, 10 years before multi-core CPUs became a thing. Now, even today, most work in After Effects still depends on single core performance. But wait, there's a lot more myth busting for the ABC of After Effects for faster workflow and smoother performance. So let's begin. But before deciding for the components for your After Effects PC, there are two things to keep in mind. Number one is workflow performance, which means how responsive and quick your system will be when you're editing the footage. And number two is rendering performance, which is nothing but your rendering speed. Now starting off with number one, CPU. And as you've said in the intro as well, After Effects is a single core performance hungry software. Especially if your workflow is 2D animation and keyframes, most of the times, we'll recommend you to get the highest single core performance CPU in your budget and put this as the number one priority for your workflow performance. But if you're a 3D guy who uses After Effects for final compositing and want to keep other softwares like Blender, Cinema 4D in mind, which are majorly GPU dependent, you can go for a fast single core CPU paired with a high end GPU instead of just focusing on the CPU part. For instance, Intel's 4900K and i7 14700K can get you good single core performance. The same thing with Ryzen 9 and Ryzen 7. We know Adobe recently announced the support for multi-frame rendering, but again, it barely affects your workflow performance. So we'll not take a major look at it. But if you're using 3D render engines like Cinema 4D, there might be some benefit to utilizing multi-core CPUs like AMD Threadripper or Intel Xeons for faster 3D rendering in After Effects. Moving on, number two, GPU. Now we have already said that GPU doesn't play a very big role, but if you look into GPU accelerated effects like warp stabilizing, 3D motion tracking, VR denoising, a part where GPU matters a lot. An RTX 4060 would get a job done without any lag. Going any higher would be beneficial for other 3D apps, but not really Adobe After Effects. Now, if you may ask, GPU to le lo kitne GB ka wala lo? Kya lo? Now you may ask, GPU to le lo, lekin kitne GB wala lo? And it totally depends on the type of project you're dealing with. After Effects seems to perform better with more VRAM, allowing it to have more render threads and a boost in overall performance. And that's sometimes where a 4060 might not be good enough. And opting for an RTX 4080 with 16 GB of VRAM or RTX 4090 with 24 GB of VRAM for larger projects and timelines might be a good option. But if you want to a GPU, then you a pro tip. Try rendering with GPU acceleration in media encoder. This is rendering with your GPU se hoga and there's a chance of slightly improved render performance. And number three is RAM. Now when you think about RAM for After Effects, I don't remember Google Chrome ka RAM sucking me. Because After Effects is the same category. Mein aata hai. So my recommendation will be that as RAM is, as much as you can take it. Now on a more serious note, for 1080p users who have only been working for social media content, 16 GB should be enough. However, for 2K and 4K or above content, this may at least 32 GB RAM or maybe 64 GB of RAM for better playback and better speed. Ek aur baat, RAM ko single channel mein lagane ke bajaye dual channel mein lagalo. Isse RAM ne double lanes create hongi aur read aur write ki speed bhi bade, translating to faster workflow and rendering performance. A quick tip here will be to manually set the allocated RAM to Adobe Suite. Karna kuch nahi hai, just go to the following location in settings and reduce reserved RAM for other applications up to 3 GB. That should be bothering enough. And lastly, let's talk about storage. Of course, it's the most underrated and overlooked aspect of video editing and in general workstations. So let's not repeat mistakes. We recommend you get three types of storage devices. The first one will be an SSD for operating system. The second will be an NVMe for quick access to project and cache files. And the third one will be an HDD for using your dump files for whenever you need them. Now a quick pro tip here again, will be to make sure that your application is installed on the OS SSD and the project files in the separate NVMe to actually take advantage of this three drive system. You can simply do it by going to this location and increasing the allocated storage to 100 to 200 GB for more legroom. And if you want to avoid all the hassle of finding the best configuration within your budget, we have a team at the MVP in our stores in Hyderabad, Bangalore, Gurgaon and Mumbai to ensure you get your application specific workstations delivered to your place. Until then, bye-bye. Peace.